When you think about the moon now, when you, you remember the, the whole mission, mm -hmm. what point is it that it was the most poignant? What's the bit that comes back to you most? Was it the, the landing? Yes, I think so. Yeah. Uh, the, the scenery, walking around, that, that has wonderful pictures associated with it, and, and that's very symbolic. Uh, but really, the achievement was the technical one of uh, landing. And of course, I'm a pilot. All of us were pilots. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's the thing that was closest to our heart, was to be involved in doing something that no one had ever done before, and that's controlling a, a rocket to land on another object. Why do you think it stirred up the emotions of the whole planet at the time? It actually united the whole planet, didn't it? Everybody watched it. Well, there's a certain amount of suspense, <laughs> obviously, involved in something like that. There's a togetherness, there's a, a hype, and, uh, and uh, the, uh, the, the various television stations had something that was sort of a first. We were going to show television from the surface of the moon. It wasn't very sophisticated. It was black and white. There, there was a wire that uh, carried the television signal from the camera that was put out near the horizon back into the spacecraft. And, uh, and it was rolled up. And when we uh, un unrolled it, it didn't lay down flat. It just went like this just waiting for some unwary astronaut to hook his foot in it and trip over it and pull over the camera and point it at the sun so you wouldn't have any more TV. That's the thing you want to guard against, mm -hmm. you know. You have to tell this story and over and over and over and over and over again because there are so few men who have been to the moon. <laughs> What's the one question everybody asks you that you wish you didn't have to answer? I probably have more difficulty uh, answering the simple question of what was it like because that's so encompassing a question and so easy to ask, or what did it feel like. Uh, I'm a, a feeling sensitive person, but I have a hard time relating the answer to what did it feel like. Fantastic, wonderful, out of this world, far out, you know. Uh, all the words don't really describe uh, so so we just do the best we can with the talents we have uh, as astronauts am i already too old to go to the moon who who's going to go next i see a couple of gray hairs up there what we really have to do i think is to develop a viable economical safe transportation system for humans into earth orbit that is the most necessary need right now. Is this science fiction, or will we really, really go back to the moon? Really, boss? I mean, come on, you're the one to ask, you've been there. We'll really, really go back. Uh, when? We... Before 2010. When you look at the moon at night now, how does it make you feel? Does it mean something different to you than it does for everyone else on this planet who hasn't actually been there? Well, uh, looking at the moon, I'm sure it does. Uh, you know, I used to look at it, and, and it was uh, a stranger. It was a stranger we were going to visit. But now, when I look at it, it's a place where uh, some few of us have been there, and uh, we have fond memories of that and the challenges that uh, it took to get there. And now the challenges that it represents to keep reaching outward. Uh, that's where the vision is, and that's where a great future is for a lot of our young people today.